Hey there guys, it's Delta49er here with a tutorial on how to install the shaders mod with Minecraft Forge for Minecraft 1.7.10. The first thing you want to do is go into your Minecraft launcher. And once that loads up, using any profile, click Edit Profile. And under Use Version, select Release 1.7.10 and click Save Profile. Then click Play. This will download a new version of Minecraft 1.7.10 for Forge to use. And once you reach the menu, click Quit Game. Then go into your web browser and go to files.minecraftforge.net, which is linked in the description, and find the 1.7.10 latest version and download the installer. It will bring you to an AdFly page and wait for the Skip Ad button to appear in the top right and click Skip Ad. Save that on your desktop and go ahead and navigate to your desktop and then right click the Forge installer, click Open With, select Java Platform SE Binary and click OK. Make sure the install button is checked for the client and make sure it points to the correct Minecraft path and click OK. Then it will bring up a dialog that says OK and just click OK again. Now open up your Minecraft launcher. Let's make sure that Minecraft Forge works correctly. From the profile drop down menu, select Forge and click Play. Once you reach the menu, you will see a few different things. On the bottom left, there is a line that says Minecraft Forge and there's also a mod list for all of the mods you have installed. Then you want to click quit game, then go into your web browser and navigate to the shaders mod forum thread which is linked in the description and find the for minecraft 1.7.10 section and the forge edition section and then find the download link and the link to will bring you to an adfly page and wait for the skip ad button to appear in the top right and click skip ad. It will bring you to another page and click the green download button here and save it on your desktop. Once you are on your desktop, you want to click the Windows key and the R key and type percent %appdata% percent and click OK. Then go to your .minecraft folder, your mods folder, and drag the shaders mod into the mods folder. Do be aware that if you have any old mods in your mods folder, you will need to remove them unless they are compatible with Minecraft 1.7.10. Then you want to close the mods folder and go to your Minecraft launcher. Then once it loads up, make sure the forge profile is selected and click play. Once Minecraft loads up, if you go ahead and go into your options, and shaders, you can see that we do have the shaders mod installed, but now we need to install a shader pack. So go ahead and click quit game. And for the sake of this tutorial, I will be using the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders, but of course there are many other shader packs and I have a few others linked in the description below. Go ahead and go into your web browser and navigate to the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shader Pack forum thread which is linked in the description and scroll down to the downloads section and you can see that there are a few different versions we're going to download the standard edition and it will bring you to an adfly page and wait for the skip ad button to appear in the top right and click skip ad once you agree to the EULA check the box and click the download button and save it on your desktop once you are on your desktop, press the Windows key and the R key, and again navigate to percent %APP %DATA% percent and click OK. Go into your .minecraft folder, your shader packs folder, and drag the shader pack into the shader packs folder. You can close that window and open up your Minecraft launcher. Let's test the shader pack out. Make sure the Forge profile is selected and click play. And once it opens up, we can go ahead and go to the options. 
click shaders, double click the shaders that we just installed, which is the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders, and click done. Click done again, and let's go ahead and go into a world to test it out. You can see that we now have the shaders installed and everything uh, looks much different than it did before. That is going to be the end of this tutorial, but if you did find this helpful, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you could share this with your friends, I would greatly appreciate that as well. And of course, if you are not already following me on Twitter, haven't liked the Facebook fan page or are not following me on Google+, Plus, all of those links are down in the description below. And if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy gaming, tutorials, and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.